Good morning, and it's Monday the 23rd at Wild Edibles. It's the second week of restaurant week, and it's starting to warm up a little outside, so hopefully we'll get a lot more business. Um, last week I spoke about some inexpensive fish items that we'd use for restaurant week. Um, today we're going to look at some of the more obscure things we would use for restaurant week, but still keeping within a small price level that we can all make some money with. Our first ones are going to be in your pod family. We're going to have your pollock right here. It's a beautiful high yielding fish with its head off and gutted out. It has really nice mild white meat. Um, it's it's usually about six pounds and it's caught here in Massachusetts. Um, the next is also in the cod family, um, a lesser known one at that. This is um, your hake. Not to be confused with your merluza, which um, is a South American fish, but when a lot of Spanish chefs come up here, they call it merluza, but this is not what they mean. Um, the hake is in the cod family. You can tell by the barbels it has right here. It has a very high yield, somewhere in about 60-65% range. Uh, very inexpensive and has nice fillet cuts out of it. So um, you can use this fish as a restaurant week menu as well. Um, next would be maybe for an appetizer or something like that. We have your um, fresh sardines right here. Whoops. These are sardines caught from Greece. Um, the Mediterranean waters. They have a really nice high fat content. They're good to do uh, deep fried or you can fillet them and cure them, which is a very nice technique to use as well. Next is a very high yielding fish in the salmonoid family. Um, this right here is Arctic char. Now, if you're like me and you haven't had Arctic char in a while, um, this fish tastes incredible. When you crisp the skin up, it is delicious. Um, just seared or grilled, um, you can even poach it. It's very nice, delicate meat, high fat content, very high yield, um, and not too expensive. Um, again, try Arctic char if you haven't in a while. It will amaze you how good it is. Our next would be a Long Island fish, a local weak fish. Now the weak fish has evolved to have a really weak mouth that you see right here. Um, it's evolved so that when a fisherman hooks it in the mouth, um, it's, it tears out because its mouth is really weak, hence the name weak fish. Um, it has, it's also known as spotted trout actually, however it's not in the salmonoid family at all. Um, it's actually in the drum family, so you're going to get a white meat out of it that's a little firm um, and a little sweet. and. It's very inexpensive and it comes locally from Long Island. Um, next would be our brand new ocean trout. The ocean trout comes from Scotland. Yeah, Scotland. Um, a lot of times you'll see Tasmanian ocean trout. This is the exact same fish. However, this fish is much larger. You get a much nicer yield out of it. It's a little bit less of fat content, but since it comes from Scotland, it's um, a lot less expensive. Um, another item that is not so talked about too often is our smoke products. We actually carry a huge line of smoke products, um, like our smoked whitefish here and our smoked uh, whole trout. We also sell the trout in filleted boards so you don't have to go through and take out the, the bones. We also do smoked bluefish, sable, anything. Just ask your salesperson when you call in about um, any of our line of smoked items. Um, now, this whole week we've been having a lot of trouble with getting bivalves in, um, mostly because the waters have been frozen over recently. So it's going to be really tight this week on PEI mussels and little neck clams, so please have a substitute ready. Um, as you see here, these would be some great substitutions to use. These are manila clams. These come from Washington State. As you can see, these are actually almost as big as a little neck clam. So um, they're a great substitution. A lot of times people think they're smaller, but you know these are almost identical in size to little necks. Um, also, we get these New Zealand cockles in from the north shore of New Zealand. Um, the southern shore usually has cockles that are about half the size that people are mostly used to, but since we get the northern ones, 
these are also just as big as the Little Neck clams and would be a really great substitution to use this week when we're having a hard time with the Little Necks. Um, that's it from the Wild Edibles Warehouse. Thank you. Have a great restaurant week.